Since the locomotive was first introduced, there has been a constant and concerted effort to improve both the design and, in particular, the efficiency of these wonderful beasts. One such effort was the Paget locomotive, designed by one Cecil W. Paget, the works manager of Midland Railway Works in Derby, and the son of the then Midland Railway chairman, Mr. George Paget. The development was self-funded by Cecil Paget until he ran out of money due to cost overruns, at which point it was further funded by the Midland Railway itself. The Paget locomotive was a valiant attempt at a radically improved locomotive design. It had eight inside uniflow cylinders powering all three driving axles. Another new feature was a fire brick firebox. It was a 262 configuration with the engine and tender together weighing in at 122.9 tonnes in working order. This was by no means a lightweight. The Paget was propelled by eight single acting uniflow cylinders arranged in two groups of four with a rotary valve above each group. Two of the cylinders drove the front axle, four more drove the middle axle and the remaining two the rear axle. There were, as far as we know, no auxiliary exhaust valves, which often were found to be necessary with the Uniflow system. Paget's locomotive was completed in January 1909, and steaming trials took place soon after. Immediately, problems became apparent, with differential expansion taking place between the cast iron rotary valve bodies and the fitted bronze liner which controlled the cutoff. As a quick fix, the working clearances were increased, but unfortunately, the valve gear, when cold, leaked like a sieve. It did become reasonably steam tight once warmed up. On one occasion, a speed of 82 miles per hour was claimed to have been achieved, but this was never officially verified. It worked several test trains down to London and up to Manchester. In 1912, a rotary valve completely seized at Sipston. Following this, the main line was blocked for seven hours before being cleared. Now this sort of disruption was not lightly forgiven and damaged the reputation of the locomotive, which may no doubt have contributed to its demise. Extensive testing of the rotary valve gear showed that it absorbed 30% more power than the D-type slide valve. The drive for the valve gear was taken from the coupled driving axles by two extra coupling rods driving cranks at the rear. A gearbox under the cab allowed for reversal. The machinery was designed to rotate at 450 rpm at 80 miles an hour. The balancing of this design, as reported, was virtually perfect, with very little hammer blow on the rails and no vibration. In this respect at least, the Paget had succeeded. From a technical standpoint, however, even given a generous supply of lubrication nipples, it failed to prevent the frequent seizure of the inner sleeve or liner. The lower shaft continuously rotated the central valve element. The liner was rotated by gearing from the upper notch-up shaft to alter the cut-off timing. The firebox was also innovative, as there was no water wall at either of the sides or the rear, which eliminated the need for complicated staying. The firebox was 11 foot 10 and a half inches long, almost as long as the boiler, and was fully lined with 6 inches of fire bricks. It was also fitted with a so-called fire bridge instead of the usual arch. In contrast to most previous attempts to use fire bricks on locomotives, this appears to have been largely successful, though some problems still remained, with bricks cracking and falling out. There were two fire doors, as there was a considerably larger great area, 55 square feet, which was at the time the largest in Britain. As the Midland Railway chose to shroud the locomotive in secrecy, there is only one known photograph of this locomotive, this was not released until after the grouping of 1923. There has been a history on the railways of a deep distrust of new ideas, and Paget 
and Dealey were not apparently on the best of terms. It was suggested that there was a great hostility between the two. After the embarrassing seizure of the complex rotary valves, the locomotive was laid up until 1918 when it was finally scrapped. Paget was away in France, commanding the Royal Engineers Railway Operating Department. Often it has been purported that the critics waited until the designer was distracted before destroying his creation. However, this remains unproven. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this quirky and very different type of locomotive interesting. Please like, share and subscribe for more.